Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and on this channel we talk about everything that makes me feel beautiful, which is usually fashion, beauty and lifestyle. And today we are again talking about fragrance. During these last few months during the pandemic, I have really become enthralled even more so with perfume. So I kind of wanted to show you, or I definitely wanted to show you how my um, perfume collection has been updated within the last, oh, about five months. Um, Cause I was kind of going through my perfume collection and realized that I got a good amount here. So I wanted to give you an update and also show you two new fragrances that I got. If you have not seen my original perfume collection video, Go check it out it's one of my most viewed it's a beautiful video if I do say so myself and if you're into fragrances you will really really enjoy it okay so let's get started let me show you what I've gotten during this pandemic it is more than I thought it was it's not too bad but it's more than what I thought it was I'm just gonna start with the first one that I got and it is Lalique Soleil I've spoken about this before in my perfume haul and I said that I did like it but yeah, no, I do like it. It's a very sweet and warm, um, summery kind of smell. Um, I said I did like it, but I also said that what they're charging for it, I probably wouldn't pay. Um, at the time, I was able to find this for 50 or $60. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it wasn't for sure not over $100. Um, and I also said that I would purchase it for that price however I don't think that I would buy it for over a hundred it is the bottle itself is just stunning it's a beautiful uh, bottle that looks like it's supposed to mimic the Sun you guys it is really really pretty do I love this smell not necessarily but I don't hate it it is um, almost smells like something my, I've smelled before but I do really love it for the bottle. So this is the first fragrance that I bought at the beginning of this whole crazy pandemic. Now, I don't remember the order after that, um, so I'm just pulling up, you know, from what I got. But I know during this time, this is also when I got Delina Parfums, the Amali Delina. I know that this is a scent that some people absolutely detest and the rest of us absolutely love it. It's that rhubarb note that just takes me away. I have never in my life smelled anything like this. I, there might be something out there, there might be a dupe, I don't know about it, but when I smelled it, I knew I had to have it. To me, it's so unique. I know some people don't think so, but to me, it's that little sour note that just does it for me. Now, I definitely think this is a spring and summer scent, which makes me sad um, because I still want to enjoy it. And who knows? I might. I might mix it with something and I still might try to enjoy it. But you guys, it's just beautiful. If you have not gotten your nose on this, I strongly, strongly suggest that you do. I wouldn't blind buy it because like I said, it has that, that sour note, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Another one that I got also from Parfums de Mali is Delina Exclusive. While I can smell the similarities between Delina and Delina Exclusive, I also smell a complete different. This one is warmer. This one is heavier, in my opinion. This one is fall and winter. I did not wear this at all during the um, summer or the, mm, no, I did not wear this at all during the summer. At nighttime, I tried to wear it just because I wanted to smell it, but I am so happy, honestly, that it's fall because I'm gonna dig so deep into this. I actually think that I got Delina exclusive before I got Delina, I think. I feel like this is the same woman, but this woman wears this during the day and this woman wears it during the night. It's just, it's similar notes. It, I have to check to see if, if, if it's actually similar notes, but I smell the Delina DNA in the Delina exclusive, but just with a little more sweetness. Oh, 
Yeah, that's good. Since we're still talking about parfums in Mali, I also got Cassily. Cassily? Cassily? One of those. <laughs> this is so pretty. It smells of peaches and the summer and spring and flirty. It's, I wouldn't say it's sexy, but it's definitely flirty. It's young. It's beautiful. I am again sad that I probably won't wear this for the next few months, but the, at the time I had it, I use the mess <laughs> out of this fragrance. It is just gorgeous. It's fabulous. But I'm unclear as to how they get it to smell like peaches. I am not a fragrance aficionado yet. Um, so maybe there's a, a note that they use that is similar to peaches, but I don't think there's a peach note in here, but it's, <laughs> I smell peaches. I don't know how they do it. It is absolutely, I love this. It's breathtaking. So, Parfums de Mali has gotten a lot of my money the last few months. Another kind of fresh scent I got was um, from Byredo. I spoke about this before in a favorites, um, and I'm just gonna say it again, or it wasn't my last favorites actually. Um, I'm gonna say it again because it's some one of the uh, perfumes that I got, or the fragrances that I got. You guys, to me, it's just so light. It's airy, mm, it is fresh, it is not offensive, it is something that I wouldn't mind smelling like every single day. I think that I will wear this all year round. It, it does lean more spring summer, but I feel like um, I feel like this is a year round fragrance for me. I am extremely happy to have it. I'll tell the story again. When I was in um, the Fashion Institute of Technology here in New York City, all the girls, all the fashion gals were wearing this or wearing Byredo and I could not afford it at, the, at that time. So the fact that I'm able to have this, um, it just makes me feel like, it makes me feel like I'm in a better place. It just makes me feel like I've accomplished something that might be silly to some, but some other people, but to just look at other people just buy whatever they want and I can do it and now I can just buy this, it did make me feel really, really good. So this scent is beautiful, but it's a little more than just the fragrance for me. It's also a sense, a little sense of accomplishment. This next scent took me by surprise. When I discovered niche fragrances, I think the first niche fragrance I discovered was Aaron, and then after that was, well, isn't Aaron niche? I'm not sure. It was more than likely MFK, right? Um, I thought I would never go back to designer. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of like when you get your first designer item and you're, you think I'm never going to buy anything else but designer. Yep. Right, okay. Then Sally Mae calls, and then Con Edison calls, and you have to pay these bills. <laughs> but um, I discovered this Chloe Nomad simply through watching YouTube. And oh, I don't remember who I, wa who I was watching, but it do I do remember them saying like it's a sleeper. I remember, <sighs> who was that? I remember them saying that they, that they didn't feel like this scent got enough um, play that like, not enough people spoke about Nomad and I just blind bought it. I found it for a really good price on like Fragrance X or one of those websites and I am so happy that I got it. I think I might have paid like $60 for this. It is feminine. It is flirty. It's for me something that I would probably wear all year round, but probably lean towards the spring and summer. Because in the winter and the fall, I like something that's a little heavier, but it is beautiful. If you are a person that still loves fragrance, no matter if it's niche or designer, this Chloe Nomad is something that you should definitely get your nose on. I personally would say that it's a safe blind buy. I don't see how somebody couldn't like this. Oh, yeah, so that was one of the scents that really brought me back to life to be like, okay, Shakura, like, get it, get a grip. And we are back <laughs> to Parfums de Mali. 
Um, I think I showed this to you guys in another um, video, but this Safinade girl, this is grown woman sexy. It's vanilla, it's warm, it's not overpowering, but also gives it leaves a little something when you walk away. Child, I just wear this at a home sometimes. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know where Parfum de Mali are getting these fantastic fragrance ideas, but you guys, but I know that this for sure has um, orange blossom. And I, I would think vanilla because I, I, I feel like I smell that. If you have not gotten this, your nose on this, this is another one that I just, it's warm, it's sexy, it's beautiful. I love this. Okay, and for these last two, you guys, I have a confession. So yesterday, I put up a video that um, was about my fall fragrance wish list. That video was pre-recorded and recorded mm, maybe two or three weeks ago. Since then, I have gotten two fragrances off of that list and I have got to slow down. I am not I'm saying this. If I come to you with a new perfume, I need y'all to, <laughs> I need y'all to reprimand me, okay? I got two things from the list that I was telling you guys about yesterday. The first one that I got, I already told you I was gonna get, so you shouldn't be surprised. The first one is Athalia. When I tell you, that Athalia snuck up on me, came around and smacked me in the face. <laughs> That's exactly what this fragrance did. When I first smelled this, I said, oh God, no. I thought there was something that I liked about it, but I said, that's for old women. Like I can't, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna be associated with that smell. But the more I um, played with my um, decant, the more I sniffed it and it warmed up to my body. You guys, this is, gorgeous this is absolutely gorgeous I said that it smells like a woman about her business this woman is accomplished she might have a business or two she definitely has her master's degree <laughs> like I want to smell and I want to beat this woman right I don't know why I didn't like it and maybe my my scent profile is changing maybe I'm getting grown but this is gorgeous. I now have five Parfum de Mali fragrances. This is beginning to be a problem. In fact, I know that some women wear the men's Parfum de Mali fragrances. I would love to know if there are any um, that you would suggest me smell. Uh, and maybe I'll order some decants, but so far, I also like Darcy. Who knows if I buy Darcy or not, but one thing at a time. Okay. So the last fragrance that I got was on the list from yesterday, and it is Guerlain, Guerlain. Listen, I might mispronounce something. I am American. I am a New Yorker, native. <laughs> if I mispronounce something that's European, Fran French, Italian, sorry but I'm perfectly fine with sounding like an American New Yorker because that's what I am. But I got this Guerlain Angelique Noir. You guys, it is just a stunner. The reason why I picked this over the double vinyl is because, oh, is because um, there was something that was just a little different of this one. Um, something that smells almost green. And I don't know if, if I'm off about that. It's almost green about it. The vanilla, vanilla, double vanilla, double vanille, <laughs> smells like straight, decadent vanilla. And it's beautiful. And quite honestly, that's something that I'm still thinking about. But I don't know if it's smart to have this and that. But also, is it smart to have um, Delina and Delina exclusive? Who knows? But 
I am really love. I am so happy that I have this. The way that it comes, um, the way that it comes packaged, and the way it's presented is just, it's just an experience. And I am just so happy to have this. I have been spraying this just too much. Like I feel like I've just got this, and you can't see, but I feel like I've gone through so much of this. So I'm gonna slow my roll. But this is just, if you haven't smelled this, I've heard so much about it. And I was like, can it really be that good? Yes. Yes, it is that good. So anyway, guys, those are the fragrances that I have accumulated for throughout the last few months. I right now still have a list because I always have a list, but I need to be responsible here <laughs> and just hold off on the fragrances. I do have a, like other hauls that, I, that are coming up that I need to make sure that I budget for. So I really need to like slow down on the fragrances. <laughs> and if I get a fragrance, I'm going to be embarrassed, but I will show you, I will tell you about it. Anyway, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts about any of these fragrances. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you want to give me more suggestions? You guys give me the best suggestions. I love going through the comment section and being like, oh, I want to try that. You guys literally give me the best um, suggestions. So please give me more. Um, not that I need it, but I kind of need it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. I'd appreciate if you would leave a comment. I would appreciate if you share the video. And I will see you in my next video.